So this is just a quick video on how to uh, create your folder structure to support your uh, paperless bookkeeping or accounting practice. So really, we have a we have two methods. I call them manual entry method, manual entry method, and the data automation met method. So manual entry method is what the majority of people will be using. So you'll have a, a master folder called client ABC, whatever the client name is, and then you have these subfolders, right, called receipts and vendor invoices, bank and credit card statements, so on and so forth. Um, we we showed these particular folders in our previous video and simply we're going to have a subfolder in receipts and vendor invoice saying to be entered so all the scan documentation would go in there once it's been entered into the accounting platform you simply move it to the entered folder and it's as simple as that you could also uh, additionally um, digitally stamp the document to say that it had been entered as well there's some uh, third-party applications that allow you to do that and then you know that everything in these to be entered folders need to be dealt with. So it's just a real simple way to know what data needs to be entered where. And then for CRA correspondence, I mean, that's really for year end uh, work, you know, same for loans, you know, personal tax, etc. And then, sorry, and then as you know, you, if you scroll down, you have client DEF. And again, it's the same folder structure as well. Um, you're simply replicating this for each one of your clients. And it's probably you know quite a bit of work to set it up, but it allows you to be highly organized and it allows you to back up the data uh, with whatever backup solution you're using to, to pull the data from those particular folders. And that's if you're using the manual entry method. So that's simply opening up the PDFs in this particular folder, entering them into the counting solution once they've been entered, uh, digitally stamping the PDF that has been entered and, and moving it into the entered folder. Uh, you could also actually put in um, the link of where this document has uh, been filed into the memo field of QuickBooks or simply um, so you can uh, reference it if you have to in the future. The uh, data automation platform automates a lot of this. So what we do is, uh, this is the file folder structure is slightly different. We've added some additional folders. So we have an in folder. This would be all the data, all the receipts that have been scanned. Um, they're in the in folder. Our software will actually automatically pull them out of the in folder, run them through our uh, cloud-based application and extract the relevant data. And once we've uploaded the PDFs out of this folder, we'll simply move them to this folder. And then what it allows you to do is visually see which which PDFs have been uploaded and are in uh, being processed and which, which are not. Um, the out folder XML CSV files, that's just simply what it is. Once we extract the data out of the PDFs, uh, we, we push it back down as a CSV or XML file if that's what you would like to do. I mean, our, our platform does a lot more, can do a lot more with the data and actually can actually auto code transactions. Uh, and we also synchronize our cloud platform with your client server you know, QuickBooks, um, QuickBooks desktop. Uh, with Sage 50, we create some fairly large CSV files to import all that data into your Sage 50 uh, client system. We are working on building a bi-directional synchronization with Sage 50, but it's a, it's a lot more work than, than doing with QuickBooks. The other thing we do is we have another folder called out folder renamed PDF. So our, uh, our data automation platform will rename the PDF with the vendor name the date of the vendor invoice or receipt, as well as the invoice number. So it just makes it easier to find uh, particular documents, especially if this file folder, I mean, this file folder structures could be on your local server, or it could be in uh, Dropbox, or it could be in um, box.net, or OneDrive, which is Microsoft's equivalent of, you know, Microsoft SkyDrive. So, the other advantage of using a cloud-based application is you could share this in folder, for example, with your client and they could scan and, or take pictures and manually drop them into uh, you know, a shared Dropbox folder, you know, just as a thought, as an example. So anyways, that's what in our data automation platform, we actually have more folders because we uh, provide a little more information and uh, allow a more, little more flexibility on how the data is handled and it also uh, you don't actually manually enter any of the data from the in folder. Our cloud platform uh, does a lot of that work for you. 
Uh, and that's, that'd be a different video. So again, I'm just quickly showing we have client ABC and then um, we have client DEF as the main folder, then a subfolder, and then the subfolders of the sub, you know, this subfolder here. So again, so that's how you do your file folder structure to keep things organized and uh, yeah, just to keep things organized. And so when you're doing a scanning, you're simply putting stuff into the, the relevant folder depending on uh, whether it's a manual entry method or it's a data automation uh, method. All right, thank you very much.